Hey YouTube, here's another video about performing electronic music live on the Jazz Mutant Lemur. This time it's about controlling the patterns and the effects in Ableton Live, which is my main software. Again, I will play a little set and tell you about what these controls are doing later at the end of the video. So, enjoy! So, this is just a simple four track uh, song in Ableton Live. Um, I've got five patterns each track, stop pattern, a volume slider and mute. If I press one of the pads, Ableton Live starts playing the pattern, indicated by the light. It blinks first and then it jumps in. This is due to the quantification in Ableton Live. Well, on the drum lane I've got another behavior. The first pattern also is quantificated, but for the other pattern I've set the quantification to none and activated legato in Ableton Live, so I can jump in immediately. Very nice for trump breaks. Um, furthermore, I've got here uh, different effect controls for each track. I've got a simple delay for the hi-hat, I've got a ping-pong delay and a filter for the e-piano, I've got a beat repeat for the main beat and also a cue so I can mute the low, mid and high. And here's a ring arena for the filter of the bass line, the frequency and the resonance. And that's the uh, overall live section display, stop, uh, record, four different scenes to jump in and stop all patterns. Well, on the other side I have a module which is running in the backyard in this setup. Um, this ball object is quite common on the lemur. In this case it sends MIDI control change data on each axis and for each ball. And I routed the... Um, each ball represents one of the tracks and I've routed the pan position to the horizontal axis and the um, effect amount to the vertical axis, but not the effect you see on the other page, just a second effect on each track. I will demonstrate with the hi-hat. So, 
the higher the ball gets, uh, the more amount of uh, resonator is in the hi-hat. And also, I don't know if you get it, the pan position is variating. Well, also I added a range object so I can control the outcome of each axis. Because maybe you don't want a variation from 0 to 127, which means um, over the full scale, maybe you just want a slight variation and you can do it here. So you just have a slight variation of this amount. Um, of course, I can change the speed of each ball individually, I can freeze the balls and here's an overall speed factor and if you get tired of the variation you can press this button here and it, for, um, it stops sending the ball variation and falls back to the minimum um, volume on the vertical axis uh, or the, to the middle position of the, the range on the horizontal axis. Well, this module you can download at the Lemur homepage. It's called Four Balls, and I've uh, uploaded it a few weeks ago. Well, building controls like these is very easy on the Jazz Mutant Lemur. Take, for instance, the volume sliders. Um, you just add a multi slider object, choose the number of sliders, the color, change position and size. Then set um, the MIDI channel and the controller number for the sliders and route it to Ableton Live. And one great thing of the lemur is the MIDI feedback. So if I move the slider with the mouse in Ableton Live, it moves on the lemur. Or if I mute a track. Also, the light interaction. If I mute a track, um, the volume slider also gets darker. This is because I really want to see on first side of oh, this track is muted. It's done easy on the lemur. There's a parameter called light in the multi-slider object which is set to zero by default and I just set it to on off x where on off is the number, uh, the name of the switches here and the lemur automatically routes the four switches to the four corresponding sliders. Of course you can also address them individually but I think it's a very nice shortcut. Um, once you have built your controls, you can save them as modules and use them in other projects. So you don't have to build your controls again and again. But of course you can also change uh, the controls so they fit to the special needs in your special project or song. As I said, these are very easy controls on the Jazz Mutant Lemur. You can build much more complex controls like um, the meaning of a slider depends on the position of another control object. Um, and yeah, this will need some variable programming and will take some more time. But it's not so hard. And even for me as a non-programmer, um, it's really fun. And you grow with your projects. So, what more could I say? Thank you for watching and have a nice day.